Hello SG Beers, Companion Wolf aka Rob Wolf on Facebook here. Welcome to another Smile Game Builder tutorial. In this tutorial I'm focusing specifically on cutscenes. You know what I mean, the automated parts during gameplay that either further the story or add a little extra to the game. Since I plan these tutorials sometimes well ahead in, of time, this particular one was scheduled for sometime next month, but a recent commenter asked how to create them. So I decided to bring it forward to this month and make it the first one of the new year. At least that was the plan. However, because of a really bad cold last week, I deferred it to this week instead. I won't go into anything over complicated here because that'd take too long. Instead, we'll have a simple introduction cutscene after the splash screen and another one in the temple. In the meantime, here's the intro. There are a number of moving parts, so to speak, for this cutscene. We're not using switches as such, but will rather use a single variable with events functioning in sequence according to its number. This may seem more complicated than it is, but I've found that this method is much better and easier in the long run, especially if it's well planned in advance. On the splash screen we'll edit the event we created in tutorial number 9, pictures. We'll add a variable. I've chosen number 18 renamed it to intro cutscene and assign one to it. At the end add a change place orientation set to face up and make the player non-transparent. And we'll also add a destination However, for use with this cutscene, I've duplicated the house map and placed it into the intro's cutscene. This is mainly for the cutscene. Besides, if you do create certain auto events on some of the main maps, it might cause a few conflicts with the other events. So at times, it's better, at least in SGB, to have duplicated maps, which you can then come back to for other cutscenes. Anyway, we will put them there, and then go to the house intro, and create a blank event, which I've already done. Set it to trigger one time only, and you play the sound effects. In this case I've used a door knock which came from freesound.org. Wait 1.2 seconds and then we display the surprise emoticon on the player. It's under special effects display emoticon. We'll wait another half a second or so and make the player walk down three steps, one to the right and one more down. And then we assign two to our variable 18. And add the condition that intro cutscene is equals to one. On event sheet two, the variable box Number 18 is set to 2, which will trigger from sheet 1. Again, trigger automatically one time. And then this is just for a little bit of flair. Camera control, we set it to the first person so we can see it from the door. And then put 3 in our variable 18. On event sheet 3, the intro or cutscene is set to 4 because it will be triggered after certain events have taken place and then we just set the camera back to normal. 
the next event is the door. You'll see where I'm going with this a bit later. On the first event sheet, in the conditions, variable 18, we set to lower that or equal to 2. Otherwise, if we didn't do this, then the door would either disappear or open and close randomly, it seems. Keep that at main hero talks, keep it blank, and then on event sheet 2, the variable condition is equal to 3, triggered one time only, and then we simply change the graphic to it's actually open, and then the same way to event sheet 3, which changes graphics, is to close. It's triggered one time only. Just add a little message, I guess. I better get ready. Wait for half a second, 0 0.7 seconds, I've set that to. And then when we designate the jump direction, it's actually the main house. This will give a smooth transition without any face screen to the main map. The idea is that the player can then get ready to visit the temple. Next one is the first sheet is blank with the collide player unchecked. Otherwise, when he tries to go out the door, it'll just collide with an invisible event. Sheet 2, the variable box condition is equal to 3, and we change the graphics to our little messenger. Triggered automatically one time. I added a half a second delay to wait for the door to open. Display the dialogue. Hello, you've been summoned to the temple. I'd suggest you go there at once and then assign 4 to the variable 18 then on sheet 4 the intro cutscene is set to 4 and then in the events change variable 18 to 5 oh and incidentally collide player with sheet 3 is also unchecked Now when, when, we're not going to play test it yet, but when we play test this, it'll start from the splash screen, after the splash screen, it'll display the hero, the hero will walk, open the door, the messenger will appear, the door will shut, and then it will teleport to the house, so you can freely wander around and get everything you need before heading off to the temple. Now for the temple, at the temple we create a new event, or in our case, re-edit Drea, and on sheet 1, hello welcome to the temple, we'll add a variable box check where variable 18 equals 4 and under yes the priest wants to talk to you I'm worried I've never seen him this agitated this will only trigger when the messenger has given his message and you haven't met with the priest yet I guess we could add another sheet for this but there's little point sheet 2 condition variable 18 is equal to 6 we add an event rotate an event orientation where she's facing up. Now for the priest. On the first event sheet, add the condition where eight, variable 18 equals 4. In the event details, the dialogue box with the second character talking. I've had to use a young graphic for the priest because there isn't an appropriate one for an old priest. The dialogue gives the reason for the priest's summon which I'll read in the playtest. The second one, character is talking. Why me? Um, I'm going to add something else to this. Why me? 
why not a proper warrior? And again the priest gives his reason. And then five is put into the intro cutscene. On sheet two, if the condition is variable 18 equal 5, then wait 1.4 seconds, put surprise emoticon on this event, and he'll f face up. And then on sheet 3, blank graphic, if variable 18 is greater than or equal to 6, and the screen will tur turn dark after 5 seconds. I think we should change that to, say, 1.5 instead. You'll see where all of this is going, and, and to make it easier to follow, on the blog when I do this entry, I will also include if else statement flowchart. With a new event called evil, on the first sheet the condition variable 18 equal 5, triggered auto one time, display the animation on the effect, and then we change his graphics to a nice evil looking dude. We display the dialogue and again wait 0.8 seconds and then display an animation at the center of the player in this case I've chosen I think this is the spirit ball spirit blast 2 change the graphic for the character to keep down 2 wait one and a half seconds and then assign 6 to the variable 18 and that should be good when we play test it you can see how everything is put together and also when I upload this on the blog I'll write up a kind of like a sequence of events and how all of these variables switches follow the order so let's play test to the temple. We'll speak to Drea first. The priest wants to talk to you. I'm worried. I've never seen him this agitated. This dialogue will not appear after this when you visit when you revisit her she'll simply say welcome to the temple now we speak to the priest thank goodness you've come I fear we're all in danger I've received word that an ancient evil is stirring in the West a new king has been crowned and he's already making plans to invade and conquer neighboring lands I'm afraid he won't stop there, however, and will continue until the entire world is plunged into darkness and chaos. He needs to be stopped. Why me? Why not a proper warrior? Because you're the only one who can save us. The gods have decreed that it's your destiny to defeat the Tyrant King. You cannot stop the High King. He is supreme overlord and master over human race. Over the human race. I'm here for the priest, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. <laughs> and there you have it. And as always, if you liked this video and found it useful, Click like and subscribe for more videos. 
And don't forget to visit my Twitter, Facebook and blog. Incidentally, I would like to announce that all of my tutorials and resources now has its separate sub-site. Again, the link will be in the description. Be sure to visit it to keep up to date with the Smile Game Builder tutorials and so on. Thanks for watching. Until the next time.